Kenya is set to sign the Comprehensive Migration and Mobility Partnership Agreement with Germany in September as part of the government's plan to export skilled labor, especially among the youth. One of the fields Germany looks to fill is construction and engineering. To prepare for such opportunities, a local entrepreneur is leveraging virtual reality to teach Kenyan youth key skills, among them the highly sought-after metal inert gas MIG welding technology. Edward Treyer visited the Toolkit Skills and Innovation Hub and now tells us this story in our Made in Kenya segment. At a glance, this looks like a normal workshop with welders at work. But it's not. This is the Toolkit Skills and Innovation Hub, the brainchild of Jane Mwigai. For us at Toolkit, we focus on skills. This idea came about when I was working as an international civil servant with the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR. Going to refugee camps, IDP camps in Sudan, in Liberia. And for me, the biggest shock was always, what is the opportunity for a youth in Africa? And the opportunity lies in skills if we can use the latest technologies. The students here are undergoing training on the much sought after metal inert gas welding, otherwise referred to as MIG welding. Jen incorporated virtual reality technology as the key tool in training different skills, among them MIG welding. Students are learning welding skills incorporated in VR headsets. When they are done, they are taken to the actual workshop where they practically hone their skills. The biggest problem in Africa, in Kenya, across all institutions, is training the traditional methods using outdated equipment, outdated curricula, and instructors that are not being continually upskilled. So for Toolkit, we focus on using the latest technology, world-class technologies, to give young men and women the opportunity to acquire a skill that makes them fit for today's job and the job of tomorrow. To effect this, Toolkit has trainers who oversee the training process that takes three months. The hub has partnered with organizations that take in the students for industrial attachment where they gain practical experience. First, we enroll you to our virtual reality class. You need to be conscious. You also need to be computer erudite. One month is for the theory, one month is for the virtual reality class, and another one month is at the workshop. Trainee deals with the supervising and even correcting the trainees as they do the virtual welding, showing them the welding positions that they are supposed to use, and also showing them on how to do the analysis of the results after every weld. As a female trainer, it has really been an advantage and also given me the confidence that this is not just a male-dominated field and also the ladies can do it. So far, some toolkit graduates have landed welding jobs in France as MIG welding is now the standard requirement in construction and engineering fields. Michelle Wamboy is hoping to get similar opportunities. I have a diploma in automotive engineering. I would like to take this MIG welding career to the automotive sector so that I can go to other countries like Germany and weld the body parts of those German vehicles. Kazi Amikono actually says in the Ignalipa, Nasisi wanawake kwa field tuna tuatambulika. Once they are in industry, we monitor them and track them. And the best example is 14 young men and women that we have taken through this journey. And currently they work in France in a city called Laval. Jen says Toolkit only focuses on highly sought-after skills in the world. Apart from welding, the hub is also training on energy and solar technology and modern-day organic farming. We are training an electrician combined with a solar technician. Here at Toolkit, we have the Toolkit Demo Farm. Labor mobility with semi-skilled or unskilled workers, we are just getting into slavery. For us to industrialize this continent, we must embrace the latest skills and the latest technologies. With Kenya keen on exporting its skilled labor in what the government says is creating job opportunities for its youthful population, innovation hubs like Toolkit are now leveraging technology to impart life-changing skills targeting key sectors like infrastructure, automobile, oil and gas industries. 
Edward Chwea, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV.